These things I know. I know that I am here in this physical body. And I know that I'm having exposure to life experiences that are causing interest within me. And I know that my exposure to life experience has definitely caused me to develop preferences about things. And I know that I prefer some things to others. I believe that I came from source energy. I believe that source energy part of me still exists while I'm here. I've had enough personal experience in true resonance and relationship with that non-physical part of me to know, to know that that part of me exists. I know that sometimes I'm in fuller resonance with that part of me than others. And I know that my best moments are when I am in resonance with that. I know that I prefer looking at someone in appreciation and love than in disappointment and doubt. I know that I would rather love and I know that I feel really good when I do. I believe that the source within me is always loving and that when I deviate from it, that's when I don't feel so good. I believe that I have the capacity to love as the source within me does. I know I do it from time to time. I believe I could do it more effectively. I know I could do it more often. I know I could do it more often. I feel that source loves me whether I'm doing it or not. I believe that source's attention is upon me, positive attention is upon me, regardless of what I'm doing. And I believe that when I don't feel so good, it is not because source has taken attention from me, but because I have vibrated out of range of recognizing it. I believe in the well-being of this time-space reality. I believe that well-being is dominant. I believe that I am the creator of my own reality. I know that I'm the creator of my own reality. I know that I'm a vibrational being. I know that I live in a vibrational universe. I know that I'm offering a frequency. I know that law of attraction is the manager of those frequencies. I know that when I set my radio dial on 97.6 FM that I'm going to hear what's being broadcast from that same frequency. I know that these laws of physics are constant. I know that I am the creator of my own reality. I know that I do it vibrationally. I know that my words sometimes support my vibration, but my words don't carry my vibration. I know that words don't teach and that words don't instruct the universe. I know that I've been instructing the universe bit by bit as I've been sorting through the contrast. I believe that I have a vortex of things that I've created, and I believe that that vibrational version does have the ability to manifest in my experience. And I believe that when I come into vibrational alignment with it, it, that I will see not just glimpses of it, but full realizations of it. I know that the laws of the universe are constant. I know that law of attraction is. I know that when I offer a vibration, that law of attraction is going to bring me other things like it. I know that the vibration that I offer, it's logical that I would continue to offer it because law of attraction makes it easier and easier for me to offer that vibration. And I know that when I recognize that I'm offering a vibration different than the one I want to offer, that I could do something about it. And I also know that I can't do something about it quickly or maybe even easily, but I know that I can do something about it. I know that source knows who I am and what I want and where I am in relationship to it. And I believe with everything that I am, which means I know it for sure, that there is a path of least resistance that source is shining a light on. And I know that sometimes I see that path more clearly than others. And I know that even when I'm in a place of not clearly seeing the path, that I'm still on the path because I can't get off the path. I know that I'm loved. I know that I'm seen and I know that I'm being guided. And I know that sometimes my ability to recognize my guidance is stronger than others. Sometimes I'm guided more easily than others because sometimes I'm in a place of recognition. Sometimes I see the clues more easily than others. And I know it's because of my frequency, not because of the frequency of source. 
I know that the frequency of source is high and I know that the frequency of source could be defined as love and appreciation and I know that sometimes I find that same vibration sometimes I don't but it's always there for me to feel for I know these things I have faith in all of these things and because I know these things I now know that anything that I desire is possible it's just about me applying these things that I know to that specific and that specific and that specific so when I want more money and I don't have it I know that I have the ability to imagine what prosperity feels like or to observe what not prosperity feels like I know that whatever I turn my attention to will cause me to feel an emotion because that's the way source guides me on my path that's how I feel if I'm right on the path or if I'm a little off the path the better I feel the more on my path I am the more off I feel the more off my path I am and it's so nice to know that when I'm off in the weeds I'm off the path I'm spinning on a disc all kinds of things I don't want are flowing into my experience everything's jumping on that I don't want to jump on because that's the vibration that I've got going right now it's nice to know that my path is still lighted I just can't see it right now but after I take a nap I'll get a better glimpse of it after I meditate I'll get a better glimpse of it it's nice to know I know this for sure source never takes the light off my path my path is always lighted sometimes I've got my eyes closed sometimes I'm not even trying to see the path sometimes I'm so convinced that I should explain why I'm off the path because somebody should know that I didn't get off on purpose and I don't like being off so I think I should explain to source I'm off the path but it seems like when I'm explaining that I'm off the path that source isn't that interested the source seems so interested in the path source won't join me off in the weeds oh that's why I have guidance if source would come off in the weeds with me I wouldn't feel this discord but the fact that source stays on the path keeps the light on the path that's why I can feel the discord these things I know I know that I'm the creator of my own reality I know that I'm worthy I know that I can be or do or have anything that I want I know that I'm getting better at it I know I'm not that good at it yet I know that I know that if I really consistently vibrated all these things that I just said I know I know I know if I were offering that consistently everything would always be working out for me in vivid fast fashion and everybody around me would say oh that's that miracle one he says it and it is he says it and it is he says it and it is but I don't mind being the gentle molder of things into place because manifestation isn't what it's about I know that it's good when I feel negative emotion because it's guidance that lets me know that I could choose a vibration that is more in harmony with what I really want I also know that in choosing this thought which equals an emotion that doesn't feel that good that I'm launching more clarity into my vortex and I know that everything that exists in this magnificent time space reality and beyond is because people have been focusing upon those things and the evolution of all of us is about all of that I accept that I am the creator of my own reality I accept that I am a vibrational being first and foremost and that they are my emotions let me know how I'm doing I accept that sometimes I observe things that put me on discs that don't feel so good and I accept that everything that comes to me when I feel like that is perfect because when I feel like that law of attraction must give me things like that and I bless Oh, I'm so appreciative of law of attraction who never gets squirrely on me who always gives me exactly what I'm offering vibrationally because sometimes I don't see it coming sometimes I've got momentum going and while my emotions denote the momentum I've got going because the emotion is so normal to me and that momentum is so normal to me the momentum gets going really strong and I don't really recognize it until something manifests so I appreciate the manifestation I appreciate the manifestation I appreciate even the negative manifestations because everything that comes to me is nothing more than an indicator of where I am on my path I'm the creator of my own experience I know this I'm a vibrational being I know this I have more control over my vibration than I sometimes offer 
and I know that I'm still loved. I know the path is still available to me. I want to believe that life is supposed to be fun. Occasionally I catch glimpses that it is. Sometimes I believe that life is supposed to be fun. Sometimes I know that life is supposed to be fun. I want to believe all of the time. I want to know that life is supposed to be fun. On a fly, on that high flying disc. I know that I'm the creator of my own reality. I know that I'm a vibrational being. I know that others are too. I know that I'm the only one who can adjust my dial. I know that sometimes I adjust it when I observe other things. I know that when I observe high flying things, I adjust my dial upward. And when I observe not good feeling things, I adjust my dial downward. And because I know this, I can be more aware of what I'm doing with my dial. I have the ability to focus more deliberately. I know that I do. I know the source is walking this path with me. I know the source is observing what I'm observing right now. I know the source has an opinion about this. I know that when I feel positive emotion, that I have found the opinion that source has about this. I know that when I feel negative emotion, that I have found a divergent opinion from source. I know that source is guiding me to my well-being. I know that source is guiding me to my well-being. I know that source is guiding me to my highest good. I know that source has helped me to carve out my highest good. I know that my highest good exists in a vibrational reality. I know that I'm always reaching for that highest good. I know that when I find it, I feel it. I know that when I don't find it, I feel that too. I know that I'm making too much of all of this. I know that I don't have to put so many words to all of this. I know that I could just be a feeler of life. I know that I can look out into the world and feel appreciation and I don't need to speak out loud. I don't need to define it. I don't need to explain it. I don't need to write a book about it. I just need to observe my unequivocal appreciation of whatever it is that I'm observing. And in doing so, I will train my vibration upward to make things like that be more often my experience because that is the disc that I am more frequently choosing. I believe that I've come here with purpose and I understand that that purpose is expansion. And I believe that source expands right along with me. And I believe that with every expansion that I accomplish, that source revels in that new motion forward. And I believe that I could be feeling exhilaration in every step of that expansion right along with source, which means I never have to stand for more than a second in negative emotion. I could go right into appreciation for what this expansion is. You know everything that we knew as we knew it. Life is not going to be the same from this point forward. In other words, you've moved to a new understanding of how it is that you create your own reality. And you're never again going to find yourself on one of those low spinning discs, no condemnation here, no judgment being offered here. It's just a fact. You're spinning on a disc different than the one you want to spin on. You're never again going to do that and not know that you now have choices. And the choices may not be now, but they'll be later. We love watching you beginning momentum and then saying, whoop, not the disc I meant, and you're not on it. Ooh. You caught it before 17 seconds got going. Whew. And we love it when you're on a disc and off it's going and you know it and you say, I've fallen out of an airplane. I have no parachute. Hang on. It'll be over in a little bit. And just that contemplation will cause you to disengage faster from this momentum that you don't want to get going. And then we know. Every now and again, you're going to find yourself on a high flying thing. You're going to be out with people that you love. You're going to be laughing and scratching and having such a good time talking about this, appreciating that. Each one of you is going to parlay it to another place and another place and another place and another place until you will just have the best time of your life. We know that all of these experiences are before you. Mm -hmm.